going on everybody it's your camp scout leader boom guided you through the week one drop list i ain't one of those camp scout leaders by the way to be on that weird shit like we ain't on that timing boys of each of you naked. let me dial in though i don't that was the worst way to start off a video uh we got the whole drop list you guys know what time it is week one is right around the corner dropping this thursday i just finished actually recording the part two for my lookbook video you're fucking back boys if you haven't seen part one go watch that before this video get my opinion on the full season it's part oh, what the fuck? but we're gonna crack into this drop list see what's coming out for the boys i know it's gonna be a big week if you guys want to get a full write-up of every single item i recommend buying come join my private discord group browser you can get a free seven day trial see if the group is for you and honestly the beginning of the supreme season is always the best time to join the group it's usually when the best items are coming out um, i'm actually really terrified to see what's releasing because i already know like half the shit i want from this season is gonna drop this one week the rest of the season i'm just gonna be sitting here like a dumbass let's get in the video let me stop complaining i haven't even seen what's coming out this week fellas so it's gonna be a learning experience for us both let's begin though drop like you guys enjoy let's see what's dropping week one by the way i had to throw on this jersey today just to show y'all the heat they were coming out with last week one man like this is still one of my favorite items we got all the last season some of the best stuff they design always comes out this first week so i'm expecting greatness and starting it off this silly job bro Oh my god. First off, I'm sorry. That dude in the photo, no bitches. I know he's got shoddy right around his arm right here. Nah, that was all for the photo. She's a paid hired model. No bitches if you're looking like this. But that's not gonna stop me. Are you shitting me, bro? This looks fucking amazing. I'm just kind of confused though. Is it actually gonna be the Supreme Spellout Straw? Don't give me this bull. Okay, it's a it's a mock-up. Alright, I gotcha. No idea what this Supreme Silly Straw is gonna be. Um, it better go crazy. <laughs> that's actually a really cool accessory. So that's a great start, man. That would look so sick in like a photo. Or maybe it wouldn't. Silly straws in our fit picks. What the fuck are we doing? Uh, number one upvoted item is the fucking boxer. Like, is that how badly I'll be sharting? Like, leaving tread marks? What are we... Boxers, bro? I never understand the upvotes on this godforsaken website. Terrible beginning, y'all. Like, what? lock the fuck in, everybody. Uh, bang! These are $128. <laughs> this better be for the set, right? It has to be for the set. It doesn't say set anywhere. That's crazy, man. Um, wow. One, two, I love these trucks, man. I was going crazy about these in my accessories video. $128 for them, though? Like, uh, why? Just for once, Supreme, can you just make some bullshit, cheap-ass accessory? Like, get this shit from China. My, It definitely is from China regardless, so I don't even know why I'm saying that. I want, like, Happy Meals toy quality with this, so it cost me 12 bucks, not 128 These are so cool, but for $128, you are going to look like a dumbass. It'll look dope in your setup. Just don't tell anybody how much you paid. Um, probably going to skip on those, and that's one of my favorite accessories. <laughs> I fucking hate this brand. Maradona tea. Uh, number one upvoted. I'm not shocked by that. I don't know how truly big this guy is, Diego Maradona. Um, so I can't really gauge like how well it's gonna actually do. I do have a feeling it's not gonna perform like people might want it to, just because um, these kind of bigger photo shirts don't really perform that well. People usually enjoy just like a nice logo or something like that. It is a hard ass photo though. It actually is pretty sick. The no drug is hilarious. Um, so I don't I don't know if this one's actually gonna do that well on the market. It's 48. It's a little pricey for a shirt. Maybe the black colorway. I don't even know if I'm going to be getting one personally. Um, it is a cool shirt. Is there a backside at least? No backside. Can we get a signature or something, man? Like, come on. I don't know. I'm not, like, super excited about that tee. Definitely a cool personal, but for 48, I don't think there's going to be much profit. We got the Futura uh, box logo tee. It's hard to even call this a box logo. I don't know, man. I'm just not that stoked on this shirt personally. I think just the logo itself, like a small Futura logo without the box, might have looked cooler. Um, it does look good on this blue colorway, though. I have to say I do enjoy this blue they chose. Um, I don't really see much profit on this one though. Like uh, the last box logo tees they did didn't do much and those were 10 times cooler than these. Um, not that I'm trying to be a future uh, hater. Uh, I actually think his logo and everything is sick, but on like the resale scale, this is just really not going to do much. So unfortunately, I, I just don't see much for these tees boys. We can cover the rest of them. Uh, we got the Ralph tee. This actual shirt itself, I'm not too crazy over. Um, it is 48 again. God, these tees are fucking expensive, man. Um, we usually we like the $40 tees that 48, that's $10 over over the 40 buck tees after you add in the tax so uh, man i think the tees are kind of going to be skippable this week we have the supreme crew tee finally a 40 dollars shirt um okay this one actually looks better than when i initially looked at it now you can get what you want nice supreme logo going over the boys um i don't know if this one's really going to do much though to be honest uh the colorways the khaki is pretty nice um it is 40 so this actually could be one of the more copable shirts i don't even think i'm going to cop one to be honest with y'all i just i'm not feeling these week one tees and usually 
usually they are a lot more stocked um because they just expect so many people to be buying them the patchwork tee though i do think this is my favorite shirt for actual resale i see a cement colorway no clue what that's gonna look like probably gonna bang though um that just sounds cool uh so i think that's gonna be the one you guys want to go for in all these t-shirts we got a fuchsia tee damn they're bringing out some new colors i've been loving the grays they've been using so that cement tee sounds pretty sick um i'm actually a fan of this one though i think the backside's dope shout out sean crawford man he came out with that elephant design which i thought was pretty neat yeah this one's really sick man i actually really enjoy this shirt and the front logo looks really clean as well i think it's worth going for i'll probably get one but you could probably get it in a second cart to be honest don't rush on any of these shirts they're not going to sell out very fast uh the shadow tee is just terrible it it looks horrible i know it's so bad what's on the back nothing okay yeah terrible uh, St. Sebastian long sleeve is actually really sick. I love this one a lot, to be honest. This is actually the same design in that pillow, I believe. Um, I'm a fan of it. I don't think it's really going to resell. Um, it doesn't have enough branding for people, but I actually like one of the cooler shirts, in my opinion. Probably my favorite of the group. Aside from that, is that all of the t-shirts? I want to say it is. Yeah, I think that's all the tees. It's honestly a pretty skippable week one t-shirt list. I don't really like them too much myself, so I don't even know if I'll buy one. I'll probably get one Sean Crawford in a later cart, but that's about it. Let's keep been moving let's go into some other stuff we got the bandana pack this is only 22 this should definitely be a top priority item for you guys um three bandanas if you don't know supreme bandanas it's usually like one for 20 maybe maybe it's a little cheaper but usually you get one of these bandanas for that price so this is a steel really nice classic bandana look all three colors are solid like honestly i love this one of my favorite accessories and being 22 it might be like top three favorite accessory for me i don't know if that's a good thing that my favorite accessory is a bandana pack from the season but um, these should be a must cop. They're going to fly, I would imagine. They probably are really well stocked since it is bandanas, easy to make, but um, I think these are gonna sell out pretty fast. So these should probably go in your first cart. Um, I'm gonna be getting some. They'll probably do like 50 bucks at least, I would imagine, maybe a little bit more. So far, probably my favorite resale item we've seen. Tote Tray 98, too expensive, decent personal. Let's go into a more interesting one. The big logo, Chenille Varsity. So these are 568. That's a steep price to pay for sure. Um, these really remind me a lot of the CPFM kind of logo. Oh, it's original artwork by Cactus Plant. I didn't even know that. I swear to God, it does look like their logo. Um, they went a little bare bones on it. I really, really liked that last CPFM jacket we got. Um, I bought one of those if you guys didn't know. I love that. That was such a sick jacket. So I'm a little bit disappointed. They could have gone harder on this one, I think. Um, 568 is really steep. That's a tough price to pay. Um, and it also is going to start getting warmer out. So I do think it's worth grabbing. Like if you have a big budget and you can risk it. The mustard is of course not the one. I would go for the black personally. The red's also nice. I think both you can't go wrong. Um, but just because it is the big branding, it's cactus plant. I think it, right away it will have some good numbers. But I see this one kind of falling in price more than it goes up over time. So I can't really give a big stamp of approval for this for being a for sure resale item like if i had the money to buy one i don't even know if i would risk it because even if you're getting like a seven the 750 hundred sale for this that's not really going to make you money it's 568 that's 600 after fees i think this might be skippable it's a bit too much of a risk for me personally maybe if it was winter i'd feel a little more confident it would age well but once it gets warmer out people are not going to be wearing chenille varsity so it's skippable i believe like I, xxl or something like black or red probably does nicely you're gonna need a sale of like 750 plus though to really make it worthwhile to buy one. I just, I don't know, man. I think that's too much of a risk. So next up, let's talk about these skate decks. Um, honestly, I don't think either one's worth buying. They're 60 bucks. If you don't know, there's now a $4 shipping cost added on to your total cart. Um, if you get a skate deck, so that's 64, add on the tax, your old buddy friend, that's a $70 price tag. You're gonna have to get a sale of at least like 95 to 100, which these could get up there. I think the future of ones maybe could get up there but it's gonna take a bit you do have to hold on to these decks they're not right away profit i don't think it's worth it the future one has too many colors um four colors is a lot um and the routed skate decks are just so skippable that i don't even know why they made those that's such a waste moving on the collegiate hooded sweatshirt this is a really nice classic one um this reminds me definitely of some of the older supreme designs they used to use this font very often uh so a really nice personal here the gray is my favorite i love the gray and the navy they scream to me like two thousand supreme um, that's probably why they made them so that's a sick one but it's definitely for the personal I don't really see much profit on these next up we got the carabiner how much are these 28 man that's oh, god these prices bro inflation's kicking my ass I don't think so uh, it's cool for the personal I like the like design of it but I'm not seeing it fellas socks really 
Really, guys, come on, lock the fuck in. No, uh, head shears, 110. Ugh, that is. Are shears really that fucking expensive, man? I mean, I guess they, they're they definitely not. What are we doing, Supreme? No, that's a cool one for yourself, I guess. Fuck no. Uh, let's talk about the bags. This is definitely going to be a very intriguing one for this first week. Uh, we got the mini duffel bag. This is a bit bigger than I think what most people are going to want for a bag. Um, people usually like a little bit slimmer of a bag. I think the whole cargo look doesn't quite help it. I also hate the hanging little like ties, whatever the fuck those are called. I think that kind of looks shitty. I don't know. Maybe you guys like it. Um, this bag bag specifically maybe get one if you wanted to hold on to them you will need to hold on to them but i think it is kind of skippable it is maybe the one bag i'm sort of on the edge of of like this one could be selling for around like 120 130 climb its way up to 150 but that's not a huge profit margin with a 98 dollars retail let's talk about the bag we all know people are gonna want it's the shoulder bag this one just looks a lot better to me uh and i do like the camo on some of these other bags a little more like honestly that mini duffel i think the uh camo actually looks better better for but on this shoulder bag I think black is just the classic I think black is the one I would be buying and I probably will be getting some of these 54 I think this is a great investment item and especially because we've not seen the bags restocking like they used to as much so uh, week one I think is the time you go pick up the bags you probably can get multiple of these shoulder bags I'm gonna get as many as they let me in the black color they will hold up to 100 plus um, really solid pickup here one of the better investments from this week and the backpack this is one you guys should definitely be going for these these Supreme backpacks age really well and they've honestly, um, because of the lack of restocks, been starting off way higher than they used to. If you guys remember the blue backpack from last season, those started off at like 230, 240. Um, they're probably still around that like 250 plus range, which is really good profit for a $158 investment. Um, let's see what the black one's at. Let me go take a look at that. Uh, it's at 220, which even then, it's not as high as you'd want it to be, honestly. I just did the math. After fees, you'd be making about 20 bucks. And honestly, I think this backpack looks better than that last season's black backpack the camo is my favorite for this backpack i think you guys should at least get one camo backpack this week um, i'm gonna be getting one personally it should be going up to 250 no problem people like the camo bags as well um, we haven't gotten one a little bit either so yeah the camo backpack and the shoulder bag are my two favorite bags the other bags i kind of find skippable the waist bag is 78 which is a lot more than the shoulder bag which makes no sense to me and the waist bags just haven't been doing as well recently with supreme um last seasons are at like 70 to 80 bucks which with a these are 78 like i just can't believe that that's even more than last seasons were 58 these are skippable i think it's just way too much for a waste bag man i don't even understand that um so unfortunately for most part the bags i think just one backpack and camo and as many shoulder bags as you can get is the option here um the duffels I just don't like the duffels that much. They're 178. I don't think the design's that good. Um, and the tote bags, they just never really do that well. If you're gonna go for a tote bag, I actually recommend you get the mini duffel bag instead. Um, it's definitely better. Maybe risk it on one mini duffel in camo, uh, but that one's a little bit more of a gamble you'd probably have to hold on to. Okay, let's get into some more fun stuff. Uh, next up, the work gloves are only 58. That is a crazy price. I thought these were gonna be a lot more expensive when I saw they were leather. Uh, so bigger sizes for gloves always perform is better. I definitely recommend these. I might even try to get two pairs of them. If you take a look at something like these mechanics work gloves with all the nails and stuff, um, the bigger sizes performing a lot better. Uh, so I always recommend going bigger sizes. And I think this glove design is way better than anything we've had recently. We had those Iraq work gloves like one or two seasons ago. I actually told people to not even get them because I thought they looked so ugly and they're totally bricking. These are actually extremely usable, really nice branding. It's leather. I see these going up to $100, honestly. I I think this is a really good cop. I'm probably gonna try to get two pairs of them. Um, this should definitely go in your first cart. They're probably gonna fly in some of the bigger sizes. Uh, wow, I'm actually really shocked those are 58. I thought they'd be way more. So that's a W cop in my opinion. Might be a little bit of a hold. Um, it might not have right away resale. We'll see how quickly it sells out, but they're definitely gonna age well. Next up, the Gore-Tex Anorak. I really like this one, but I knew it'd be expensive when I saw Gore-Tex. Honestly, 298 is not as bad as it could have been, um, but I think it is skippable. I love this blue color man i love the brown as well both of those are so sick maybe down the line they age well but um i don't know i don't really think it's worth risking for uh it is so sick bro they wasted this one well i didn't need gore-tex man like make this shit cheap supreme make supreme cheap again man come on who's with me uh small box hood sweatshirt a little personal not worth it future sweater uh 168 not gonna resell they probably will look really sick in hand but um i don't know those gons poem sweaters were way better uh here we go here's item of the week i fucking 
fucking hate to say it. Hopefully a lot of people already clicked off this video so I can tell my real ones. This is gonna be the best item of the week, man. This rainbow colored one, oh my god. We all know how that multicolored beanie from last season did that I got robbed out of my cart. Still butthurt about that. Now that one did have more of the crochet look which is what people love with beanies but this rainbow color without question is gonna do 100 plus. Uh, probably go above that after how we saw that other beanie did. I would even grab the other colors because just from the hype of this multicolored one, they'll probably go up as well. Um, this is a really good beanie. 40 bucks, super good. This should be your first item you go for, honestly. These are going to fucking teleport. I might even just go for them right away, like on their own. Honest to God. That's how much I think it's worth grabbing these beanies. Maybe you could throw one other item in your cart. Maybe like the bandana pack, but I honestly don't even know if it's worth risking for because I'm really scared. Last season, if you remember week one, it was a shit show. Uh, so yeah, I think this is the best item of the week. The rainbow color is probably the most profit you get from anything out of this drop. Throw them in your first cart, fellas. Just fucking pray. Pray the bottom didn't hear me just say that but I think they probably know uh, the canvas boonies pretty whatever uh, the Hanes tagless tees what uh, why is this upvoted uh, over dye beanies these model of beanies do terrible so fuck no the faux furs like they're cool but they're not fucking 398 cool like I'm sorry that it's just I don't know man I'm not that crazy about them they've done a lot better at faux furs and they always brick now so fuck no gold cross s logo uh I think these are actually pretty bad S logos. The cross is cool and all, but S logo fitteds don't do much. Uh, the Futura uh, fishtail parkas not gonna do much. Five hundred bucks, forget about it. Uh, these, damn, they're dropping these long sleeve football tops week one, man. They're coming out with like half the good shit I want from this season. It's really bumming me the fuck out because it's like, what are we gonna be doing for the other weeks, man? I, they better have a shitload of collabs this season. It feels like the lookbook's so small. Um, I love these. The white color is my favorite. I think that white color is awesome the green also that sonics colorway come the fuck on man that shit's hard blue they're all the colors are pretty good here what are the retails 110 um maybe the white color or like the black uh i don't really think so we did have those bumblebee ones last season do really well but i think the colors and designs were just better on those these have a chance this is definitely a risk i can't guarantee there's gonna be profit i wouldn't be shocked though if like an xl double xl gets some good sales in one or two of these colors really cool personal though um if it was a different week i'd maybe get one for myself reversible down puffer boys i'm telling you if you want a hard ass motherfucking jacket grab one of these i have one myself i fucking love it. it is my favorite supreme jacket and just my favorite jacket in general really comfortable this one's reversible which is super dope like i'm jealous honestly the green one's my favorite all three colors i think are super nice though they probably won't resell 298 is a really nice price tag though um i love them i absolutely love them that green one is so hard really sick personal watch chino twills now this is always a solid one it's 48 these have been doing worse lately um just because they've came out with them so many times it feels like there's always some random colorway just popping off with these so it's really hard for me to make a guess of which will do best the purple might just go nuts for no reason the green for what the green's horrendous but it'll just pop off because who the fuck knows why they haven't done a snake one i don't think i can't remember one so that has some potential just from that i don't think it looks great but um the snake is actually a pretty solid option the snake and the denim the black's always reliable i think the white is really nice here honestly um that's one of my favorites i probably will get one or two of these taking a look from the past seasons um they are just like around the 70 range honestly um the blacks are always going to reliably get up to 70 so that's not a bad option and i'm gonna let y'all know on a secret man sometimes you can totally sell these as the older seasons if it's like the black that doesn't change i've done that on stock eggs before don't tell nobody don't leak it boys so maybe go for a black and try to sell it as an older black like, I, i'm just gonna say it man I, i'm the one that told you but yeah looking through these some of these weirder colors are definitely popping the fuck off for just no reason they have slow sales but this is definitely an investment item you hold on to for a while but some of these get to crazy prices um honestly it's probably worth grabbing one or two of these at least a black one if you want moving on a uh, small box long sleeve we don't care baggy jeans are a good personal but not gonna do anything uh satin hooded track jackets don't see much with these man people do not like satin very much it's a cool like idea but no uh the football zip ups there's like a weird potential for these they're 178 i don't see it like this would have been so much sicker as a jersey it breaks my heart um i still think it's kind of a cool item but it's probably not gonna resell i wouldn't assume so um it's pretty sick though the chargers colorway is really dope i am really disappointed man that they just fumbled this one 
should have been a jersey. I don't get it. Uh, the Hanes tagless tank, fuck no. Uh, all right, all these basic jeans, we don't give a fuck. They're not gonna resell. Damn, the Weirdo Dave camp cap's all the way down here. It is 58, but I think this camp cap's amazing, man. I absolutely love it. Like, this is one of the cooler hats to me. I wish it was pants or a jacket. Really sick item here. Probably not gonna resell um, just because of how expensive it is and there being three colors. Uh, but it breaks my heart. This is all the way down here and y'all got fucking Hanes boxers as number two. Fuck off. Um, honestly, cashmere sweater, no. Jacquard stripe hoodie. 158, maybe the camo? I I really don't think so. Oh my God, there's so many more items. Um, the satin track pants, terrible. Hell no. Gore-Tex track pants, so, no. They're only 198 though, which is pretty cheap for Gore-Tex pants. Usually they're a little more. They actually don't look that bad, but uh, who needs them? Uh, New Yorker arc six panel, that is a skip, not liking those. The twill patch six panel, I don't even know. I've wasted oxygen even saying that name. Those are so boring. Uh, the six short sleeve top, the blue is cool, but no. Blur soccer jersey, fucking no. Uh, actually not a bad personal if you like it, but I don't know. I'm not a fan. I'm skipping over these track pants and all this bullshit, like the chino. I was like, I'm sorry. Uh, the Argyle zip up vest is really this downvote. It's 158. I think the black one's sick. I think both these colors are sick. They're not going to resell. I wish, I wish, I wish we got one more color, man. I think they could have killed it with one more colorway. Maybe a baby blue with the red and like. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just don't love either of these colors enough. Uh, it's a pretty cool personal, I think, though. I love, like, zip-up vest. The Argyle look pretty hard. Uh, paint, long sleeve, period, blood shirt. Nope, not liking it. The wash corduroy is coming out this week. Wow. Oh, man, this week's tough, boys. Uh, I really like these a lot. I think that gray, that khaki-ish color... I could see myself maybe getting it, um, or the blue. The blue looks really nice. I don't think I'm actually gonna buy one. 148 is just a little too much for a really basic corduroy. You could probably thrift somewhere a lot cheaper, um, but it's cool. I really do enjoy it. Uh, University short sleeve top, that's a no. The only item I even see worth talking about is these spread zip up hooded sweatshirts. These are fucking sick. Um, this is one of those items that like maybe could age well, but it being a zip up, no. Like if it was a hoodie, it'd have a little more chance. Zip ups are pretty hard to get resell from Supreme unless they're very very unique um, and we also we got the champagne corduroy six pan we also got these champagne five panels these are a cool personal uh, I like the blue one a lot personally I think that one's pretty cool uh, but I don't know they're not gonna resell or anything but it's not a bad hat it's pretty casual pretty chill but yeah sorry if I didn't cover any of these like basic items that I've just skipped over honestly they're so boring and they're not gonna resell so in total boys um, those beanies are at number one priority on the list um, I definitely recommend you guys to try to grab all of those I think the rainbow is gonna go crazy the other two will still do well they're only 40 bucks they're at least gonna get to 70 it's worth it also try to get a bandana pack those are probably gonna sell out pretty quickly those should at least do like 50 bucks I would assume which is a pretty nice double your money item shoulder bags should be a priority as well these shoulder bags are gonna age very nicely maybe risk it on one mini duffel if you wanted to I would rather get two shoulder bags for the price of one mini duffel though personally I'm gonna be getting a camo backpack and holding on to it I think that's gonna be the best aging backpack color um, also the mechanic work gloves 58 try to get two of the bigger sizes XL or large um, either color should do well I think the black would do better it's a little more wearable but honestly I'm grabbing both patchwork tee um, the cement colorway for this patchwork shirt is definitely gonna bang that's the one I would prioritize any size outside of that um, I think those are the best resale items maybe like a wash twill camp cap um, you could choose the colors you want it's kind of hard to predict them outside of the black color um, but yeah that's about it for my picks boys let me know what you guys are liking from this week you watched all the way through let me just know you a skeleton motherfucking soldier bro i really do appreciate those that watch these full vids man um i've been talking for the last hour now i just did the accessories video so my throat is kill ayo um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys for the live cop on thursday it should be really fun very chaotic i'm so excited to get back into the swing of things for these live cops so yeah it's been your boy boone i'll see you on the next one i'm out man peace